Welcome to another Twisted League video and look at that. That was quite a bait. I thought I got a bit, uh, got an Abyssal Whip and uh, well that was two different clue scrolls in one drop at least. So that's uh, pretty nice. I can do that later. But I just want to say thanks for all the support recently on the videos and all that. Hope you guys do enjoy them and if you do remember to leave a like. I'm going to say it now in the beginning and see if it actually makes a difference. Easy dude. Elite Clue and Abyssal Whip in the same drop. Look at the kill count. 86 Abyssal Weem de Demons for the Abyssal Whip. I now have pretty much the best in slot melee weapon. That is a good feeling. Looking like an absolute beast now. I can finish the task with the Abyssal Whip and get some combat experience from the melee stats, which I, I they're just terrible right now. I mean, 99 range compared to like 60 defense. And this is why I made the Ring of Wealth, another dragon stone that I can make if I get higher crafting level into maybe a glory in the future. Got some abyssal heads from that task as well, so that is going to be enough to get me all the way to 80 prayer. So when I can actually hit this abyssal demon, I will get 80 prayer for another 100 league points. Pretty nice to have that high prayer right now actually, my points will be pretty efficient with my potions. Now this is ridiculously unlucky, I had like 13 elites, I completed 2 and I had to drop so many because of this one step you can see on the screen that requires a mystic bro bottom. And look, I am literally 3 different elites I started had the same one in the beginning that I can't do. And my last elite as well had this step, so I only ended up with 2 caskets after 13 elites, so I would say that is pretty unlucky. But let's see what these have, first one, a light infinite color kit. Can't really do anything with that, unfortunately. Uh, but let's see the second one. Oh, that is a dragon's necklace. Skill necklace is not really that useful though, I think. Had four brimstone keys, so let's get them open. And after that, I actually want to make an attempt at a Drake's task. Because you can get the brimstone boots if you're lucky from that task. And also you can make holy sandals into some better boots, but... Yeah, uh, let's pick a drake task, 64 drakes. Not sure actually if I will be able to kill this with melee. So you can see on the counter on the top right, I got 1.7 million strength experience. That's actually AFKing sand crabs before I started doing the assignment. I got 80 baselines in all my attack, defense and over in strength, I'm like 86. I tried the, the drakes task, but I didn't have enough prayer potions. So I'm just going to cancel it and do banshees because I need to do them anyways for herbs. It is six layer incoming and pretty much half the task done and I have four rainars. I just looked in my bank and I had some mediums and I need the holy sandals so when I do get the thing from drakes, which I'll eventually get. So let's open these uh, wolf mask. I don't, yeah, I don't know about that one. Second one, some law runes, I guess that's okay. Some fashion scape right here, ancient crozier, pink boater. Oh, even more fashion scape criers hats. Uh, but yeah, no holy sandals this time. But uh, yeah, when I get mediums, I will try to do them. Okay, so let's see if we can get some good loot from these 10. First one, some Alkibals. Second, Samurai Braces, don't really need them. Master Clue, perfect. Armadillo Dehide, uh, I think I have the Bandos one, but this one looks pretty much uh, a bit better, I think. So I'm going to use that one. Gothic, Runefall Helm T. Uh, some other items. And... Wait, did I open one? Or am I lagging? Okay, I'm not lagging. Uh, I'm going to bank. Just need to put some items in. Okay, there we go. Four more. Let's see what the I'm going to get from these. Some Alkyballs, Purple Sweets, some random stuff. Yep, in general, just Alkyballs. Actually, my first farming contract. And let's see what the seeds are going to be. Uh, yeah, not the best seeds, but that is at least one farming contract completed and I will be doing way more of them in the near future. Let's claim some points. 410 points. Okay, so let's open 10 more hard clues. Let's uh, hopefully get some good stuff. First one, not too great, but some law runes. Second one, Alkyballs again. Alkyballs. Oh, Berserk and Nexus Ornament yet. Already have actually one of those, so that's a duplicate. Oh, Sarodome in Dehyde. Uh, yeah, I, I already have a Dehyde body, but this one looks the best, I think. So I'm pretty happy with that. Decent fashion scape. Uh, but yeah, let's get the four last ones open. That is terrible. That is so bad. Cavalier. I don't really need that. Okay, that was pretty bad, I'm going to have to say, unfortunately. Thought I would use some of my herbs to get closer to 63 for the super stores. So I'm going to get 60 herb lore here for also, I think that's uh, 50 points possibly. So I can claim that in the future. Also, I got 99 hit points recently, which is going to give me quite a lot of points. 410 points again. 
So this is another Banshee task completed for the herbs, but I have actually not got a superior yet, which is just crazy. I've killed like 400 after I unlocked it. I have 680 total kills, but 400 after superiors. I actually got three grubby keys from half a undead druid task and I actually really need the food right now so that's going to be great when I open them. So in total I got four of them so I'm going to probably be able to open two every single time so yeah look at all that food and the torch toss is pretty nice as well and the potions yeah this is going to be very good for my future slaying. Also that was a task because it was my first grubby chest. 200 law runes that is just insane and two super stores as well that's actually exactly what I needed. Now that I do have some prey potions and supersets, I'm going to do a Drake's task in the hopes of getting a Dragon's Claw. Let's see if we can actually get it in 65 kills. I got slightly baited, but that is actually not the reason to why I am uh, recording right now. It's because I just got 88 Slayers, so I'm getting closer to that 95, slowly but surely. And uh, that will be the Alchemical Hydra boss. Easy snapdragons, let's see how many I get. I'm actually only using normal compost, so five of them and I'm going to keep planting them and uh, get contracts as often as I can. So let's see, I'm also very close to a farming level. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, get some more seeds. Let's see if I get any good seeds. Dwarfweed seeds and Avento seeds, yeah, not the best. I'm actually going to boost now with a botanical pie to get uh, all these 19 snapdragons into super stores. So that's going to be a decent amount of experience and also a lot of super stores. Okay, it has completed and unfortunately no good drops at all. But look at this. 489 nature runes and 261 law runes. This task is just absolutely insane for those type of runes. Let's get these six brimstone keys open. I don't think I remember fully where they're all from, but uh, probably Banshees. Coal is really good. I, I want to get my smithing up as soon as possible. Uncut diamonds also crafting is one of the skills I really want to get up. And uh, what is that? Coins and Torstall seeds. Pretty decent, I would say. Ready with some stews that I bought in Hosidius to do my first Lizardman Shaman task ever. So this will be quite an experiment. Yes, I have seen so many streamers get trolled by this, the Rune Warhammer drop. It's going pretty good so far though, so that's nice. First, Serix Talisman drop with an Elite as well. You get so many Elites from this, so it's a very good way of getting Elites actually. So I'm going to dismantle this, if I can do it right now when it jumps, for 100 free charges. Oh, this is actually so good! Dragon Medhelm, I didn't have that at all. So that is my, I think, best in slot until raid items, which I probably won't get. So that is actually so good. In between the task, I'm just superheating some of my iron and coal to make it to steel bars because I really have a lot of nature runes and it's some free magic experience along the way. And I really want to get my smithing up as well. First task completed of Lizardmen Shamans and that is also 100 Shaman kills. I stayed for one extra kill just to get that task completed. So let's claim the points for 70 league points. If you look at my smithing, it's 58 and I got all that from 51, I think, from superheating some stuff and my crafting is 55. So I want to use all my gems to get my crafting up a bit to get some more total levels and work towards 74 actually to be able to make a combat bracelet just with crafting as I have a dragon stone. Finished cutting all the stuff and I'm making some diamond rings and I'm going to actually enchant one of them because there is a step that requires a ring of life for a clue scroll so I'm going to enchant one of them so now we have that and we can probably i think complete that step use some of my mithril bars to get 60 smithing and i'm currently at 68 crafting and i can't do any more crafting as of now but that means i need six more levels to be able to make my combat bracelet which is not too far away and i should get some gems from konar chests and stuff like that but yeah you can see i have almost 600 steel bars i still have some coal and iron in my bank so it seems pretty decent with my smithing. So I actually just completed another Lissaman Shaman task and I'm going to show you guys here on the right side what the loot is. 212 Lissaman Shaman kills, quite a lot of elites as you can see, 20 of them. So I'm actually going to use all these teeth that I've got or fangs into my necklace. I have almost 500 charges and I'm going to try to complete as many of these as I can. So we ended up with seven elites and the one main thing I want from these is either a glory or a combat bracelet. So let's see if we can get either of them. Oh, that is a dragonstone item, but it's it's the necklace, unfortunately, that I already have. Planks is very good for construction. Uh, yeah, that is not the best. Masters, I'm getting two masters so far. And also 10 elite clue scrolls completed. That should be some decent points, maybe like 100 or something. Uh, another master. 
Oh, Dragons don't ring on the last one, but that's also quite a lot of tuna potatoes I just noticed, so that's some free slaying food. Had to do some AFKing and I was two levels from 80 fishing, so hey, it's 100 free points, I'm just going to do it. Yet again, I have some decent supplies for my farming runs, I'm going to do another Drake's task and I, I will just cross my fingers and hope that I get the Drake's Claw this time. No Drake's Claw, but 89 Slayers, so six more levels to go until Hydras. And almost a strength level as well, incoming soon. So I just bought 51,000 broad arrowheads because I will need like 100,000 of them to be able to get 99 fletching. And I will also get some decent woodcut levels when I get all the arrow shafts for these. Uh, but I still have like 1.4 million cash in the bank. So I will actually probably have the money pretty soon for 99 fletching. But let's get these 8 brimstone keys open from I think 2 drake tasks and 2 lizardman tasks. So... Hopefully we can get some good stuff. Uh, I really, really want to get 74 crafting for the combat bracelet now that I didn't get them from the elite clues. So any gems is going to be really good. Runefall hams, pretty good. Uh, also gold ores is really, really useful. That's some fletching experience. Don't really need that. Just bought it. Iron ore, actually very good. I'm making steel bars. Uh, some coins. Rune plate body. Uh, dragon dart tips. Some free fletching experience, I guess, but not too great. And iron ore, so not the best. Uh, I think I'm actually going to get a... Uh, where is it? Temple spiders task, because I want to train some melee. Easy experience on those, and maybe get some red spider eggs as well for uh, future restores. But that's 88 temple spiders. Before I get into anything else, though, I want to get 50,000 arrow shafts from woodcutting and fletching all the logs that I get so that I can do broad fletching meanwhile doing other th stuff. So I actually just recently, from getting these arrow shafts, got 75 woodcutting. That is a huge level because that means I can now cut magic trees. And there is a task that gives 100 points where you just cut one magic tree at the Forsaken Tower. So I'm just going to do that in a bit. I'm going to get some arrow shafts now. And uh, I'll do that task and then after I'll, I will claim my points because I haven't claimed in a bit. There we go, that's the magic log chopped at the Forsaken Tower. So let's now claim all the points. This will, oh, this will for sure get me over 7k points. 7,260, 400 league points. But anyways, that is going to do it for this video. Unfortunately, I got no amazing rare drops in this video, except obviously the Abyssal Whip in the beginning, which is perfect. And keep in mind, I started when I got the Abyssal Whip in this video with 60 defense, I think, maybe 61. And uh, I think my strength was at somewhere around 80 and my attack at 70. My current melee stats is 87, 90 and 87, so I have gained 27 defense levels. So the Abyssal Whip is definitely doing a lot of work for me, so I should be max combat fairly soon, of, of course excluding prayer. Uh, but yeah, hopefully in the next video we can get a Drake's Claw or something like that, or the Dragon Warhammer from Lizardman Shamans, you never know, I could be lucky. Uh, but if you did like the video, please leave a like. It, it does mean a lot to me if I get a decent like ratio. And uh, if you want, you can make, leave a comment suggesting me what I could do, what grinds you want to see me do. Uh, and if you want to see whenever I post new videos, then make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm actually getting fairly close to 10k subs, which is uh, like 10k subs has been my goal for like the past a billion years pretty much like 10k subs has been the thing i would want uh, as a youtube goal in general so yeah if you would like to support that then make sure make sure to subscribe of course only if you like my videos though uh, but yeah i'll see you in the next one guys take care